Hey guys, so I wanted to pop on and talk a little bit about my journey with the sun. So I was the girl, believe it or not, but I was the girl that would tan two times per day. When I was growing up in high school, I worked at a tanning salon. So I would tan in the morning and then I would tan at night. And then I would go out and put baby oil all over to get the most incredible tan ever. And I was really truly under the mindset that you didn't need sun protection then. You just needed a base tan and then you could keep going indefinitely without sun protection uh, to be young, right? So I always laugh about this because it was, it was always like that one really big burn and then I remember like my shoulders just completely peeling, my arms peeling everywhere. And then I remember I was under the mindset of, okay, I'm good. Like I've got my base, let's start summer. So this is where I know that I didn't truly think about the future. I, at the time, I didn't think about wrinkles. I didn't think about sun damage. I didn't think about dark spots. I Honestly, I, cancer wasn't even on my radar because I feel like when you're young, you just live moment to moment. Like I remember just going from moment to moment and at the time, I really truly wasn't thinking about my future. So let's fast forward with my journey. I landed on Beauty Counter because some of you know this with my journey that I had some pretty serious healing to do with my body, my mind, and my soul. Um, I was also on the search for a safer skincare company that really truly worked. And I remember also at the time, I started seeing a lot of fine lines, hyperpigmentation was coming out, sunspots were coming out on my forehead. My skin just overall did not have a vibrancy to it. And then I remember weird things just started popping up on my skin that I would have to have removed at the dermatologist, things that were itchy. And during that time, like meanwhile, during my slowdown through my health journey, I also started having conversations with friends at the time. And they had loved ones that were experiencing stage three melanoma. They were having moles removed. Um, you know, not getting clean margins, having to go back to have even deeper cuts made. Um, you know, more things removed because things look suspicious. I had a friend during that healing journey of mine that I met who was also diagnosed with melanoma. Um, so I was like, hmm, maybe there is something to taking care of your skin after all and using sunscreen when you were out in the sun. Now this was gradual over time, but this is a moment where it just really clicked with me. I landed on Beauty Counter years ago, as some of you know through my journey, and I was really looking for a sunscreen that didn't leave my skin bright white, or I was looking for that mineral-based sunscreen that actually rubbed in. And this is truly where Beauty Counter once again blew me away because it was just like everything kind of, I started learning more, I started understanding. And at that time, I also needed safer products to help with the premature aging that I was experiencing as well. So what I started doing is I started treating my skin and to this day, I still use a four-step regimen. My skin has always been ultra sensitive. I can use this brand, it works. Um, this is where though I really started to notice that it actually does matter to carve out a few minutes per day. I'm giving you permission, ladies, to carve out a few minutes per day and take care of yourself and your skin. My skin became more vibrant my premature wrinkles became softer over time and I overall felt like my skin looked more balanced and even. I was starting to get that vibrancy back. So this, of course, excited me and I knew when I invested in my skin again with the sunscreen that really truly adding this layer of protection would be really, really smart and a safe step 
for me and also my family. I was that mom that just slathered sunblock on my kids and then I just kind of halfway do it myself. Safer products landed in my life first along with shampoo because some of you know with some of the posts that I've made in the past is that I suffered really, really terribly from tinnitus and once I changed my shampoo and I went through like 20 shampoo companies that were safer for me, once I switched to a safer non-toxic shampoo, in this case it was Beauty Counter that really worked, the ringing in my ears got better. So what I'm saying as a holistic health and wellness coach is it is all connected friends. Once I started using Beauty Counter sunscreen, this is when I truly, for the first time, started educating myself on the harmful effects it can have on your body. I'm going to do a full blog post about this um, in the coming weeks because I really want to show the comparison with ingredients and really write something that can add value. Um, but with sunscreen, whether you know it or not, hopefully if you don't, I'm going to educate you, but sunscreen has a lot of chemicals in it, like a lot. So your sunscreen is not only harmful to our health, but it's also harmful to reefs in the ocean and the wildlife within the oceans. Who would have thought? I didn't know. I was completely shocked, like completely shocked. So here's the thinking, here's the question. If your sunscreen can harm reefs and wildlife, why in the world would we or I want it on my kids' skin or my skin for that matter. Can you imagine what oxybenzone is doing to us, human health, especially when we are applying every single day, then we go outside and we heat the chemicals up with the sun. So this was like a light bulb moment for me. My pick, of course, you guys know, is Beauty Counter. Um, there's another brand that I like that I use prior to finding Beauty Counter is Badger. It's a little bit cheaper, but what I did find with some of those brands is that I experienced more of a white cast on my body, whereas Beauty Counter fully rubs in without leaving you looking just like with a whiter cast all over, and it leaves you without having to rub for a really, really long time. Um, one thing to note though is when you're transitioning to mineral sunscreens, some of them will require a little bit more work to rub in, in general, but again with Beauty Counter, I don't find I have to do this as much compared to other safer brands on the market. Um, I was just really blown away with our sunscreen because it just, I barely have to rub and it, it does blend in. So Beauty Counter, to sum it up, is really, truly the only one that I found that really truly blends in. So we have some fun options. I wanna go over a little bit. We have some fun options like spray sunscreens. This is regular spray, this is SPF 30. And then this is a tinted, which is a godsend at the beginning of the summer because the tinted allows you to, it helps cover scars, lumps, and bumps, and just generally adds just some beautiful color to your skin at the beginning of summer. So you have a regular and then tinted. And I really truly recommend spraying this outside or not near anything white if you're using the tinted. I use the color light in this and it's gorgeous. It's not orange at all and it works really, really well. Here's our other body sunscreen here. It's SPF 30. This one rubs in great. I, this is all over body. Um, we also have a really incredible face stick, which is here. This is SPF 30. This is great for my active boys when my kids are playing tennis outside or basketball. You just twist and it comes right up. So this is SPF 30. Works awesome. We also have a facial sunblock that just launched, which is SPF 25. This is, we've been waiting for this. So one thing to note that all of our sunscreens are formulated with non-nano zinc. So this is a lightweight lotion with this facial sunblock. It's a lightweight lotion without leaving that chalky white cast that I was talking about. Um, there's antioxidants in this like vitamin E and squalane, which is derived from olives. 
and that helps the skin stay hydrated. Then we have chicory root extract to help lock in the hydration. So sometimes I really get dried out from sunblocks. We're working to combat that with some of our extracts in here, so this is great. I've had a lot of clients looking for higher SPF as well, and I wanna debunk a little bit of the myths. And the fact is, the ratio of UVA protection, it decreases as SPF increases. And the concern is that the higher SPF, read this or listen, the higher SPF products lead to greater UVA exposure and potentially greater long-term skin damage. So a general rule of thumb that I tell all of my clean beauty clients is to make sure you reapply and don't rely on the higher SPF for more protection. So what that means is more exposure to UVA rays and also like you want to just work on this because more exposure to UVA rays su actually suppresses the immune system and it causes harmful free radicals to form in skin and it's also associated with higher a higher risk of developing melanoma so you want to look again you want to have the UVA coverage so you can again let me rephrase this. So you can you can take the UVA protection in a lower SPF and reapply more often. I hope that's making sense. So um, I people look for the 70 or the 50, and 25 and 30 is suffice, um, and you actually get better protection. So as you're heading out to the pools this summer or the beach, check your sunscreen. I urge you to take a peek at it on EWG. Most are very high with levels over seven or higher. And when you think about it, when you're heating the chemicals up on your skin, it's not a great scenario for your body at all. So really look for chemicals like the oxybenzone and there's another one, the octonoxate. So make sure you look for those, try. It's a really, really good idea to steer clear. And if there's safer options out there, try them, just try them. So one thing that I think gets missed a little bit is after skincare. It's really important for the integrity of your skin. There's a couple of ways that I do this, keeping my skin soft and replenished after a day in like full-blown sun yesterday i had one um and i came home and i just i wanted to give my definitely my lips felt dry so i you know i use products around the house one of them that i love is i use the lemongrass body scrub so i do all of my normal shower stuff but if i had if i feel like I just need, I just use it as a sloughing to kind of work with the integrity of my skin. And then if I feel like I've had a lot of sun, a little bit too much, this is a favorite that I haven't been to Hawaii, but I imagine it smells like Hawaii is the after sun. It's the cooling gel, which is um, really, really incredible. The other one I use that I love is the Counter Match Adaptive Lotion. You guys know this is a favorite of mine. I just apply all over my skin. It adapts to my skin, which is incredible. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit more, like if your skin is feeling really, really dry and you could use a little bit of extra hydration, you could always use the Melting Body Balm, which is here. And this is super hydrating, like a lot. So you can see it coming out here. But this is a great way to create a glowy, moisturized, healthy looking um, glow for your skin. So you might ask, what do I cleanse my face with post day in the sun? It's a really good idea, but I have an easy remedy. I personally like the Lotus Cleansing Balm. It's super hydrating. That's this one here. It's super hydrating and moisturizing. And basically I apply all over my face and then I just gently wipe and wash off. And I, then I follow my other four step regimen. So I double cleanse at this point. But this is just really gentle and it just gives my skin an added boost of moisture. And I really like to take the sunblock off with this. So if, if skin care or the skin protection hasn't been on your radar, definitely take a peek at your products. I encourage you, I encourage you, I challenge you to take a peek at your products. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, 
Have a great day. Spread love, not chemicals. See you guys.